Hi and welcome to Eden Nature Art um, program. I think it's week seven and today we're going to be doing something that I've thought about doing for a while um, and have seen lots of videos on it um, and you probably have seen them and it's string art. I've not got around to it before. Um, it's these really nice little interesting patterns. There's. And so they're basically a bit of string dipped in some paint and then you place it in the paper and then pull it out. So I'm just going to have a go. I've had a bit, a few trial and errors with these. If you put too much paint on, you end up with these big blobs. And it took me three or four attempts to wipe the paint off um, to get it into, you know, this kind of nice strong image there. So it's less is more. Is, and I have tried dipping this. I've got a little bit, I had some and I have a little bit of water in with that paint just to loosen it up a little bit. But what I'm going to do, I did try dipping it in, but it's actually, you have to print so much off. So all I'm doing, a little bit of water in there, mixed with the paint, and I'm brushing that off, sponging it on. So fold a piece of paper in half. If you've only got photocopy uh, of paper, that's fine. Just use photocopy of paper, absolutely fine. And then it's a case of dropping. And I'm just gonna, oh, look at that. So what you need to do is fold it and then put some pressure on the yarn or the string, is what you're using. And as you pull, move your hand so your pressure continues. Down there. Now I think I've still got, there's a little bit, you see it's, it's sort of stuck together, there's a little bit too much on there at the moment. So let's hope the next print. too much on there probably um, but that's quite nice so there's um, some really nice little marks there made by the yarn the fibers hang up there this is quite fluffy on the edge the other thing if you wanted to do I've just been folding them in half but if you wanted to do it on a bigger piece of paper and then put another piece over the top. This I'm finding is better for if I'm gonna be making um, books or anything from the paper. An unfolded piece is probably better for me. And then pull, and I say, I'm just moving my hand with it just to keep that pressure on really. And there we go. So that's quite, I'm just gonna add another color. And run this through this is unwatered down paint just gonna go over the top what we already have oh I'm just wiping my hands on my pinny I will say I recommend wearing a pinny when doing this because when you pull the string out the bottom it tends to hit you in the belly and um, I got covered the other day when I was practicing I'm just going to go over the top of that one. I'm going to just try and position my string so it comes out the same point. I'll show you why in a minute. I'm going to hold on and then pull and then move. Oh, that's quite nice. I see why that position there is because I've practiced a couple when I've got lots on them. Um, like this one here and when I was just pulling them willy-nilly I don't like that um, because I wanted to get something where they look very flower like Not they, do, they don't have to look like flowers but they naturally look very much like flowers um, 
and I thought it'd be quite nice to to have them a little bit more looking like a bunch of flowers I suppose and then if I round it add that one there and again I don't know whether it's just actually it's how you position them I'm not that keen on them when they've got loads over the top personally but it's about playing experimenting and seeing what you want to do they're quite nice that I could then do something else with that um, and also trying with different I've just got a, a basic acrylic yarn here but trying with different um, different yarns and also what I was doing the other day is you could dab different colours. Dab a different. I've just got a bit of white here that I'm dabbing on with my finger. Then I'm going to try this on yellow. Let's see if it will bring the white out. Yellow there. Okay. And you've got these little dashes of other colours. Right, I'm going to do another one of those now. With different. So, I was doing them on white paper the other day when I was practicing. I wasn't very happy with them, but I think with coloured it's quite nice. Because the white shows up more. Yeah. covered in paint now. Our paper's going to be painting. So, two pieces there. So open up. Let's see what this one looks like. When you overthink about it, I'm never in, I'm never I never like the things I overthink as much as the things I just throw together. But there you go. That's what that's why we're all experimenting and playing. I'll do another one. Oh that's better. So this week your mission is to have a little um play and um have a go with some string and a little bit of paper and a bit of paint. Please, please, please send me anything you've done. It would be great to see it. Okay. <laughs>